Marlia Corporation is considering opening a Krispy Kreme shop on Newberry. If they are successful, they will make $1,000, and if they're unsuccessful, they'll lose $2,000. With no additional information, they think the chance of success is 60%, so they think the chance of failure is 40%. If they invest in gathering additional information, the probability they will turn up good news about the chance for success is 60%. So that's just saying that if they buy a report, the chance that it comes back as a good report is 60%. If they turn up good news or get a good report, the probability of success is 80%. If they turn up bad news, the probability of success is 20%. And what is the most they should be willing to pay to gather the additional information? So basically we're asking what is the value of this information? We know that the value of information is equal to the expected profit given information minus the expected profit given no information. So first let's find the expected profit given no information. It tells us that with no additional information they think the chances of success are 60%, which means the chances of failure are 40%, and the expected profit given no info comes out to be negative $200. The expected profit given good news, well they said given good news we think the chance of success is 80%, which means the chance of failure is 20%. And the expected profit given good news turns out to be $400. Given bad news, they tell us the chance of success is 20%, which means the chance of failure is 80%. So the expected profit given bad news is negative $1,400. Now we can calculate the expected profit given information. How often are we going to get good news? We're going to get good news 60% of the time. So 60% of the time, we're going to multiply that by the expected profit given good news, which is $400. And 40% of the time, we're going to get a bad report. When we get a bad report, we're expected to lose a whole bunch of money. Well, instead of lose money, we'd rather have zero. So the 40% is multiplied by zero, and the expected profit given information is $240. So what's the value of this information? Well, the expected profit given information, which is 240, minus, now be careful here, we use zero because the expected profit with no information was a large negative number, negative $200. So instead of having negative $200 when we don't buy a study, we'd rather have zero. So the value of this information is 240 minus zero, which is just 240.